if a man dumping his negative emotions on a woman decreases polarity in relationships, then where can a man dump his negative emotions? Men don't discuss emotions. Female friends are out of the question. So what should he do? That is a very great and valid question. And I just want you to realize a very important thing. Men do not feel emotion in the same way that us ladies do. We have a deeper and larger limbic system in our brains, which is responsible for our nurturing and emotional instincts. So our brains are wired to have emotional overreactions over little things, and they are not wired that way. So they will only get emotional over big problems in their life, problems that they feel that they cannot solve. And... Even though they don't feel emotion in the same way that we do, if they have these big emotional problems from childhood, then they need to go to masculine men such as spiritual leaders, pastors, businessmen who have maybe experienced a lot of the same things that they're going through, other masculine men who are ahead of the game and can provide them with the same guidance and advice. God is the number one masculine man in all of our lives. And whether we choose to follow him or not, he is the only one that can give us a clear direction and purpose for our life. And for us women, we love to hear happy emotions from men. We love to have men around us that are full of life, full of energy. They're very ambitious and hardworking. We love men that are funny and smart and have a lot of positive energy. It's that negative energy that will depolarize the relationship. Because us women are not meant to bear the weight of men's emotions. Men are supposed to go to God and other men in order to bear their weight. They are our leaders. And we can go to them with our emotional baggage. But when they are coming to us with their emotional baggage, we get very sick and we we get frantic and we don't know how to cope with it because for ever and ever and ever and ever and ever in history men have always been the problem solvers men have always been the one to fight protect kill and provide for their families so it would have been a very life or death situation if a husband went to his wife and complained and cried about all the emotions that he was having and how he couldn't go kill food and bring back food for their families so that way they could survive so testosterone is strength and estrogen is weakness and the thing about being a feminine woman is that you are soft to the outside world but inside you are very strong because real strength is being able to admit that you have weaknesses and that you need help in this world and that you need to depend on other people But ultimately, masculine energy men who have mastered emotional intelligence, they go to their guy friends and they're like, yeah, man, had this problem, was a little bit frustrated, but (laughs) it is what it is. And they're just laughing about it and they're like, oh, forget it. It's no big deal. But for us ladies, it is a big deal. So we misinterpret men and think that they will create these little issues and turn them into big deals, but they don't. So once he becomes truly high value, he will eventually just mm, shrug off the small stuff.